Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about how Google is actually going to be doing a pay cut for employees that decide to stay working from home. Okay. So this actually came up because they did an article on routers where they talked about how Google released a pay calculator, a salary calculator for their employees so they could see how working from home can actually affect their pay. Okay. And it's up to 25%. So to me, I think that's pretty damn high uh, for a pay cut. But what's interesting is that it's something that I've been saying for years, right? People keep saying, I want to go work at Fang because this, this, and that, and because they pay so much money. And it's like, bro, they pay a lot of money if you work in the big cities. And if you work nearby the office, right? If you're going to that office every single day, yeah, they're paying a lot of money. Okay. Uh, but now we know that they're going by location okay they're going by location that's how they're they've been doing it for years and i told you guys that before people will be like nah they got the money they're just they're trying to pay everybody top dollar it's like nah bro if you live in san francisco where you're paying four thousand five thousand dollars per month to get a two-bedroom studio right or a two-bedroom apartment right um basically yeah they're gonna try to keep you comfortable all right uh, but if you live somewhere like, I don't know, North Carolina and you got a big ass house for, you know, $1,600, they're like, we're not trying to pay you top dollar for you to live like a king. OK, like we're paying you a lot of money so you could be comfortable in working in the city that we have offices in. OK, but that's it. So there's a line here where they talk about this, where uh, they basically said, our compensation packages have always been determined by location and we always pay at the top of the local market based on where employees work from. Okay. So that's how they actually come up with the, the, you know, the salary that they're going to pay developers and also to other employees, um, that work at Google. So that's pretty interesting. Okay. Um, automatically <laughs> that debunks the idea that, well, they're paying you a lot of money because of your talent. And it's like, not really. They're paying you because the cities that they have offices in are very expensive. Now, what's interesting about this is who this actually affects, right? It doesn't really affect like the young kids that just came out of college and now they're working at Google. They all want to live in the city, right? They all want to live that lifestyle of, you know, going downstairs and there's a bar in the corner and there's, you know, Times Square a few blocks away and hey, they're in downtown San Francisco and hey, I live in LA. Hey, I live in this, this and that, right? And they want to be in the city. But who does it actually affect when it comes to this, right? It really affects the people that, one, they want to travel. Okay. Two, the people that have families, right? Most people that have families, you don't want to raise your kids in a city, right? Most people want to give their kids the opportunity to grow in a neighborhood where they could feel safe in a neighborhood where they could, you know, walk around without having to fear, Hey, they're going to get robbed or something could happen to them where there's good schools around. Right. Um, and maybe growing up in a house. Okay. Most of these big cities, you can't do that. You have to either rent a super expensive apartment or buy like a million dollar condo that only has two bedrooms, right? Like <laughs> it's crazy when you live like New York City, San Francisco, right? Most of these big uh, cities where these companies are, are located. So it really affects the, you know, the, the average guy, right? The average guy, average woman that maybe wants to have a family and, and is in a different stage uh, besides, you know, wanting to live in, in, in the city. Okay. So that was pretty interesting. Another thing that was pretty interesting is the fact that if you are a remote worker and you stay living inside of the big cities where these offices are located, they're not going to cut your, your salary. Okay. They're not going to cut it. Okay. This goes for people that actually move maybe an hour away. Cause there was an example here. They explained that if you are living in Connecticut, right, which is an hour away from uh, New York City, you're basically going to get a pay cut of 15%. Now, imagine if you were working in the New York City offices and then you say, you know what? I don't like the way how New York is being run. I want to move to Florida. The same thing that I did. I just moved out here to Florida uh, because I wanted to get uh, better opportunities. I wanted to get a bigger house. I wanted to be in the sun. I wanted to be close to the beach, right? Let's say you're that type of person. Okay. 
you're definitely going to be on that 25% cut. <laughs> You know, and what's funny is there's a situation here where there was this guy who basically he was saying, hey, um, he said something like he was living, I believe, outside of uh, San Francisco. Let me see if I can find it. Um, he basically talked about how he just recently got a promotion. OK, and it says in here, the employer was considering remote work, but decided to keep going to the office despite the two hour commute is as high as of a pay cut as I got for my most recent promotion. I didn't do all this hard work to get promoted to then take the pay cut. <laughs> right. So they basically gave him a promotion and say, OK, cool. You're going to make, I don't know, 10 percent more or 15 percent more. Right. And now if he decided to stay at home and, and work from home remotely, they're like, yo, you know what? You're going to get promoted. You're going to get more responsibilities. But at the same time, that pay cut is coming, boy. Okay. We're going to take that bread. <laughs> okay. So basically you're getting promoted for, for basically nothing. Okay. You, you get promoted. It's like you got a pat in the back. Okay. Um, but again, this is for people that want to work remotely now with this pandemic we learned that you know people can work from home okay and these companies can definitely pay their employees top dollar without it really hurting their their you know their bank accounts right but at the end of the day the way how they look at it is like yo we've been paying you top dollar because you was coming into the office every day you was you know commuting for an hour all right you was uh paying top dollar for renting a location right an apartment or buying a condo or buying like a, a brownstone or something like that right so that's why they were paying you top dollar now they're like yo hold on like you want to go from san francisco to wyoming you want to move to idaho you want to be around the mountains <laughs> You want to go to Florida? You want to be close to the beach, boy? Like, nah, man. We we giving you a pay cut. <laughs> life's not life's not fair, right? They they're like, yo, life's not fair. We gonna give you a pay cut, bro. Like, it is what it is, right? I mean, you can't be mad at it. Some people are pissed. Some people are like, yo, they they shouldn't cut my pay. And it's like, you're working from home, <laughs> like. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Shout out to my Indian developers or all the talented Indian developers. But Indian developers right now, they're probably looking around like, yo, welcome to my world. Like, <laughs> you know, you could be talented, but you're not getting paid the same amount of money that somebody that is here in the United States is getting paid. So now these guys that live here in the United States, they're now seeing like, well, if I work from home and I work remotely, I'm going to have to lose uh, some income. That's not fair. And Indian developers right now, they're like, welcome to my world. <laughs> the world is not perfect and the world is not fair. Okay. So it kind of sucks. Right. And I feel bad for the people that have families, the people that say, you know what, man, I would like to move to, you know, and I don't know, another city or move to maybe the suburbs or something like that. And if you're an hour away from the office, you're getting a 15% cut automatically if you're doing remote work. Okay. If you still go in and, and go every single day to work, then there's no pay cut. You just got to go in for every single day, two hours, you know, one hour going, one hour coming back just because to prove that, Hey, I'm here. Okay. Which is stupid. And also too, it's kind of not fair that they say, if you still live in the city, right. And you're working remotely, we're not going to cut your, your pay. So I don't know. It's one of those situations where it's just weird. It's a weird situation. Um, but for all of you guys that are thinking like, Hey man, like remote work is great. It is great. But at the same time, don't expect people to pay you top dollar anymore because what this does is people go in and they look at Google, they look at Facebook, they look at Twitter, they look at uh, Amazon, they look at them as the standard. So if they decide to say, Hey, we're going to do a pay cut because you move, I don't know, you move to Thailand. You're like, yo, you, I want to move to Thailand and I could do my work from Thailand. Now they're like, yeah, we you, go move, but <laughs> we're cutting your pay. Okay, we're gonna pay you like some some third world developer now. <laughs> you can't be mad at it, right? Because 
that's just how it is. And especially because once this company start putting this as a default and saying, this is how things are going to go. Every other company is going to follow through. Now, of course, there's other smaller companies like Zillow who basically said, Hey, we're shifting away from that. We're not going to support that. We're not going to cut people's pay. If you want to work from home, you can work from home, right? If the job is remote, you're getting paid the same amount as somebody that is working here in the office. So at the end of the day, it's not bad, right? There's going to be companies that is going to have that as an extra perk. Maybe they're not going to have as many, you know, bonuses, right? You see Google has the base salary. Different day you have some stocks every year. Then different day you have bonuses every year, right? Um, basically, you know, some of these companies are going to say, you know what? We're not going to cut your, your income, right? come work with us, right? Because most of the, the developers, they go to work at companies like Google because they have quote unquote, the best package. But if you are a remote developer, you're like, yo, these companies are not good because they're cutting my pay. They're not paying me what I'm supposed to be getting. So for that, I'd rather go work to a company like Zillow or work at Reddit. Okay. So, you know, this is going to be one of those situations where companies are going to have to bid and, 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 and put some perks for people to work for them because it's not just about the money. Sometimes people want to be happy. Okay. And being able to work from home, you know, it's a big perk. I think it's a big perk. I think it's, it's a bigger perk than even having stocks. It's a bigger perk than even having any bonuses. Okay. To be honest with you, most people will be happy to get $131,000 and be able to work from home and just be happy with that. Trust me. Most people will, will go in just for the base salary as long as they could work from home. Um, because it's worth it, right? You're happier. Uh, you could take care of your health, your mental health too. You could see your kids grow up. Okay. Uh, you don't have to drive every single day, an hour, two hours. I've seen people take trains coming from, you know, Connecticut all the way to New York city for an hour and a half, sometimes an hour, 45 minutes. Sometimes it might take you two hours to go from the, you know, somewhere like, I don't know, freaking Waterbury or Nagatuck or even like a new haven all the way to new york city like it might take you that long or let's say for somebody that lives in in long island traveling from you know the middle of long island maybe melville right dix hills around there and then traveling all the way to new york city that's a two-hour trip with traffic okay now if you hop on a train that's an hour and 45 minutes dealing with people bumping into you everybody running around like cockroaches like some people don't want to deal with that every single day. Some people are tired of, of, of dealing with that type of, you know, stress. So maybe a base salary is what they'll, they'll focus on. But again, you have companies like, um, Twitter was a Zillow and, and, um, Reddit that they don't mind paying people, you know, what they're supposed to be getting. They're not cutting their, their pay, but trust me, if Google is doing this, a lot of companies are going to go and follow through and they're going to be like, well, Guys, if you want to work from home, we're going to cut you off by 25%. And sometimes I, I wouldn't be surprised if some companies will be like, yo, you want to work from home? We're cutting it down to 50%. You better come to work every single day. If not, you're going to have to come into work three to four days. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they come in and start doing little things like that. And they'll be like, well, uh, for every day that, that you miss out from work or uh, as far as like in a week, Right. They say, well, you could come in and work all every single day. But then if you decide to come in uh, maybe two times uh, a week, then you're missing three days out of the week. So we're going to cut it by 30 percent. I wouldn't be surprised a company does that. Right. They'll be like, well, if you want to continue working from home, you could do it. But we're going to cut you off by depending on the days that you work inside of the office, because technically they want you to be in there. Even if it's just to do meetings on Fridays and, and whatever, or talk about a project, you know, they'll be like, Hey, come in once a week. Right. And we'll cut it off by 40 or 35. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm surprised that they haven't talked about this, but I'm sure they're going to do it. Somebody's going to do it. There's a lot of companies that are grimy. CEOs are grimy, right? Um, a lot of these companies, the people that's on top, they're grimy. They don't think about the people that's at the bottom at all. Okay. Um, so at the end of the day, it is what it is, but I mean, you want a fang you, some of you guys be like, I want to go work at fang. It's like, <laughs> go ahead, buddy. <laughs>
<laughs> I'd rather have control of my own destiny, okay? And this is why I'm basically a self-employed developer. I work for myself. I build my own companies. I don't need somebody else to give me a check. I get my own checks, okay? I sign my own check. You know, I got Coding Face LLC. Coding Face LLC comes in and signs a check, and he's a salary for Joe Santos, okay? When I go in and I go anywhere, uh, if I buy a car or I'm buying a property, that's going under the company and that company pays a salary to Joe Santos. Okay. That's how I like to do it. But that's just me. Okay. Most people that don't want to deal with having their own business, they don't want to go in and, and having to create things on their own. They want everything already set up for them. Shit, take the route of working for one of those fan companies. It's up to you. Okay. But anyways, guys, if you want to learn how to code, man, you got to come try out codingphase.com, guys. Okay. This is the website right here. Let me see if I could share this with you guys. Okay. Uh, basically, you come in. All the courses that you need, they're right here. HTML, email developer, career path, front end developer, back end developer, full stack developer, React developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer, entrepreneur developer. Everything is in here. All the career paths. Okay. And it's $20 per month. 20 bucks okay 20 bucks it's not that much okay if you want to sign up for the yearly subscription you sign up for the yearly subscription there's a link in the description with a 20 percent off um when you sign up to the yearly subscription you get access to every single course that's available at codingphase.com even the premium courses that have the fire emojis as you guys can see for 20 bucks we teach you everything that you need to become a developer as far as the programming side but if you want to get those premium courses with the fire emoji Hey, you got to sign up for the yearly subscription. Okay. So definitely go check out codingphase.com guys. I'll see you guys later. See boy Joe back at it again. Coding phase. Peace.